This may be the most valuable swimming pool maintenance video you have ever watched. I'm not only going to teach you how a variable speed pump saves you money on electricity and how to calculate how much money it will save you, but I'm also gonna teach you how you can program speeds and schedules to help you reduce your maintenance and chemical costs. On the average pool, this could save you well over a thousand or even over $1,500 a year. Running a variable speed pump at lower speeds will have a huge impact on your electric bill. But I have also found that utilizing different speeds throughout the day, including low, extremely efficient speeds overnight, will also reduce your chemical cost and help make weekly maintenance easier. The majority of variable speed pumps I see in the field are not set up to take advantage of the savings and benefits a variable speed pump can provide. First, I'm gonna show you how to utilize the online JD Pump Savings Calculator so you can use it to calculate exactly how much money a variable speed pump can save you and how you can get the best performance out of your variable speed pump. So let's go to Google and we're going to Google JD Pump Savings Calculator. And here it is right here, Pool Pump Savings Calculator. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is gonna take you to their calculator page. I love this calculator, it works very good. First thing we need to do is we need to put in how many gallons our pool is. And if you don't know this, you need to figure this out. It is extremely important that you know the size of your pool, not just for this pump savings calculator, but for chemical dosing, for everything you do, you need to know how many gallons this pool is. If you're not sure, Jandy has a quick calculator, but it's more of a length times width times average depth and a lot of the pools in our area anyway are free form pools. There are better calculators out there that you can find online. Just Google calculating my pool size and there are a lot of calculators out there to help you really determine some of these odd shaped pools and free form pools that you know, help get you in the right ballpark on the size of your pool. But today we're just gonna use a 20,000 gallon pool. Our average pool is probably around 16, 17,000 gallons. But today we're just gonna use 20,000. The electricity rate, you need to put that in. You need to know what you're paying for electricity. Now the price that you put in here needs to include taxes, delivery fees, all this other stuff that they put on your electric bill, not just what they're charging you per kilowatt hour. 20 cents per kilowatt hour is probably just a tad high on average for my area, but it's also gonna be much lower than some people are paying in other areas. So we're just gonna leave it at 20 cents per kilowatt hour. You can put in your zip code, it'll give you a rate, but that rate is typically not including taxes, fees, and all that other stuff that they add to our electric bill. So now we're gonna come over here and we're going to put in some data and see how much money we can save by utilizing a variable speed pump. First thing we need to do is we need to select the pump size that we're dealing with. It starts off putting you at a full rated pump. Now, probably 99% of the pool pumps that I see in the field are not full rated. They are uprated. They started playing this little game with pump sizes back in the 1980s and 1990s. It's basically just the way they calculate the size of the pump. Like a two and a half horsepower uprated pump is going to be the same as a two horsepower full rated pump. No difference between the two. But most of the pumps that I see in the market are uprated. So let's say a good average pump that we see out in the field is a two horsepower uprated pump. Let's say you're running that pump eight hours per day and the speed on a single speed pump this is every single speed pump that i'm aware of is 3450 rpms the highest speed you can do on a variable speed pump is 3450 rpms this is gallons per minute which is the average gallons per minute on the average pool on the average two horsepower up rated pump is going to be around 91.3 gallons per minute. Now that can vary a little bit depending on plumbing, equipment that's installed, but 91.3 gallons per minute is a good middle average. Now turnovers. Turnover is how many times the volume of water in that pool goes through your filter per day. One turnover on this pool is 20,000 gallons going through the filter once per day at eight hours we're turning this pool over 2.19 times per day and y'all in my area this is the minimum turnover that i want on a pool this is critical to how well we're filtering and circulating 
our pulls is how many turnovers. Two turnovers per day is the minimum I typically want on a pull in our service area. Our environment is probably a little harsher than some, it's probably less harsh than others, but two turnovers per day is the minimum. I would much rather have three turnovers per day. It just helps maintain the pool much, much better. It helps on chemical cost, helps on filtration, it helps on everything, circulation, all that. But 2.19 times is minimum that we like. All right, the daily cost to turn this pool over 2.19 times running eight hours on a two horsepower operated pump is $3.41 with an annual cost of $1,245.45. So now let's say we get a comparable variable speed pump. It starts you off at the 2.7, but since we're using a two horsepower uprated pump, let's find the equivalent, which would be a 2.2 horsepower variable speed pump. And we're going to run it at basically half speed. So to move approximately the same amount of water I want to run the pump twice as long. So instead of eight hours, we're gonna run it 16 hours. So about half the gallons per minute and our turnovers per day is very close to the exact same, but the daily cost to move just as much water is $1.01. That's less than one third of the total cost to move it at twice the speed. That's $369 annually, y'all. That is $876 annually that you would save on this pool running half speed for twice the time. That's a huge savings. This is the easiest way to save money owning a swimming pool is by utilizing the lower speeds on a variable speed pump. And I wanna demonstrate how these pumps work. If I ran this variable speed pump at full speed at 3,450 RPMs, which basically makes it the exact same pump and ran it for the same amount of time, we're coming very close to the exact same cost per day, very close to the exact same cost annually, same turnovers per day, same gallons per minute, full speed to full speed. If you got a variable speed pump, you're still running it at full speed for eight hours you're not saving anything. You're wasting the capabilities and the opportunity of saving money with this pump. So at 16 hours, moving half the gallons per minute, it's a huge savings. The way electricity works on these pumps is if I double the speed, I double the water move, okay? I, I go from 46 gallons a minute to almost 92 gallons a minute. So if I double the speed, but my electricity usage goes up six to 10 times. So the electricity usage is exponential, where water movement is just one to one. If, if I double the speed, I double the water movement, but on electricity, if I double the speed, my electricity usage goes up six to eight times. So the way you save money on a variable speed pump is utilizing the lower speeds. It costs much more to move a gallon of water at a higher speed than it does to move a gallon of water at a lower speed. So I just want to explain that to you. Now, I understand that this is not how I like to set up variable speed pumps. I don't like to just set them up at half speed, even though that's a great savings. We're still filtering. We're still doing everything we need to do. But I also like to take advantage of the higher speeds also. There is some benefit to utilizing an occasional higher speed. Scammers will typically work a little better with the extra draw from the pump. If you have listened to our podcast or watched many of our other videos, you know how important it is to properly circulate a pool, either clockwise or counterclockwise, eliminating dead spots. Using a short period or two of a higher speed can benefit the pool by forcing a little extra water into calmer areas and moving some of the more stubborn debris around so that it may be cleaned up or filtered out a little more efficiently. The way I like to set up variable speed pumps on the average pool is I'll pick a higher speed, typically around 2,400 RPMs, that's 63 gallons per minute. That's more than two thirds of the gallons per minute of a single speed, but that's plenty of water flow. And I'll run that higher speed an hour in the morning and an hour in the afternoon. So it's two total hours during the day at 2,400 RPMs. And I'll end up accomplishing 0.38 turnovers per day running it at this higher speed, so two hours total. And that will cost me 29 cents per day and $105.88 per year. 
Now between that morning high speed and that afternoon high speed, I'll pick a medium speed. This is where I'll utilize typically the half speed of the pump and I'll run it for eight hours in between. So for eight hours, I'll run it at half speed, moving half the gallons per minute, and I'll accomplish 1.11 turnovers per day at the half speed at a cost of 51 cents per day and an annual cost of $184.58. So for one hour, I'm running the higher speed, then eight hours, I'm running the medium speed, and then I'm end capping that with another one hour at the higher speed. Now that's 10 hours of the day I'm running my pump. Now after that second high speed, I will drop to a very low speed, 1400 RPM. And I will run that the remainder of the day from the end of that hot second high speed in the afternoon, through the evening, through the night, all the way to the morning where I started that first high speed during the day. So that is a total of 14 hours that I'm going to run this lower speed. It's moving 37 gallons per minute. That's more than a third of what the high speed at the other pump does. I'm accomplishing 1.56 turnovers per day at a daily cost of 52 cents per day for a total annual cost of $189.14. Guys, that's like leaving your back porch light on. That is extremely efficient. And we turn the pull over one and a half times for very little electricity and at a very low daily cost. And we're doing great things for our swimming pool. Our filters filter better at a lower speed. We're constantly distributing chemicals throughout the pool. We're not allowing any dead spots for any long period of time. So we're filtering 24 hours a day and our total cost, let's do the math here, pull our little calculator up. So we had our two high speeds were costing us 29 cents a day. And then we're going to add our medium speed, 51 cents per day. And then we're going to add our low speed that we ran for 14 hours. And that comes to a dollar 32 per day to run our pool 24 hours a day utilizing a high speed a medium speed and a low speed okay now let's calculate how many turnovers we had per day utilizing this method so we had 0.38 turnovers by utilizing the high speed one hour in the afternoon one hour in the morning we had 1.11 turnovers per day utilizing the medium speed in between the two high speeds and then we had 1.56 turnovers per day utilizing the low speed all night long. So that gives us three turnovers every day for a cost of $1.32 per day and an annual cost of $479.86. So that gives us a savings of $765.59 that we're saving annually by doing this with a variable speed pump. We're getting between 40 and 50% more turnover on our pool, better filtration, better chemistry being circulated around the pool, less dead spots, and all of that's going to save us money on chemistry and problems. And we're saving $765.59 just in electricity. That's not even calculating how much it's going to save us in chemicals. Now, one thing I need to point out is if you have a, a salt water chlorine generating system, you need to make sure that this low speed that you're running satisfies the flow requirements of that salt system because they do have a minimum amount of flow and you're going to be producing chlorine from your salt system 24 hours a day now, but you're going to be able to turn the percentage way down and produce just a little bit of chlorine every hour of the day as opposed to to generating as much as you can in just eight hours. You're always gonna have good chlorine entering and sanitizing the water 
24 hours a day, y'all. That helps a ton. And if you have an inline tab feeder, if you're a person that uses chlorine tabs, and you have an older style chlorine feeder, you may have to replace that chlorine feeder with one that is made for variable speed pumps and can actually perform properly with lower flow levels. And, and again, you're going to turn it way down and add less chlorine each hour, but you're, you're going to be adding chlorine all day long. And you're gonna find, you're gonna go through less chlorine by doing this because you don't have near the demand on your chlorine and your chlorine is going to hold better because you're, you're filtering better, you're circulating better, and you're sanitizing your pool better. So take this to heart, guys. This is really a no-brainer on this. These variable speed pumps, if you set them up right, they can save you a ton of money. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you listen to our podcast. Y'all take care.